Hey folks, welcome to The Ramble. So a week ago, I posted the most recent episode of my uh, Facepalm 5 series. And in that video, toward the end, I spent a few minutes talking about Trump's claim that 3,000 people did not die in Hurricane Maria on Puerto Rico. And I titled the video in relation to that statement uh, that it's the worst thing a president has ever said. And in the actual video itself, I say it's it's either the worst or, or one of the worst things a president has ever said. And I know that Trump doesn't watch my videos. I know that he's, he's more of a Fox News Infowars type of guy. But for a moment, I thought... On, uh, on on Friday, maybe he he must have somehow seen the video or, or heard someone else express a similar sentiment because it's like he took it as a challenge. He heard people say, oh, that shit about Puerto Rico, that's the worst thing a president has ever said. And Trump said, oh, oh I, I think I can top that. And so last week on, on a Friday morning, he tweeted in reference to the uh, sexual assault allegations that have been made against his Supreme Court nominee, Brett Kavanaugh, by Dr. Christine Blasey Ford, who says that Kavanaugh attempted to rape her at a party when he was 17 and she was 15. Trump tweeted, I have no doubt that if the attack on Dr. Ford was as bad as she says, charges would have been immediately filed with local law enforcement authorities by either her or her loving parents. I ask that she bring those filings forward so that we can learn date, time, and place. Now, that's a really fucked up thing to say about a sexual assault survivor. It's a really fucked up thing for anybody to say, but for someone like Trump, it's par for the course because he says fucked up awful things on a daily basis and his supporters love him for it. He, they don't see this kind of thing as a problem or as even something that they need to overlook. They see it as, as a, a good thing, as, as not a bug, but a feature. We like that Trump says shit like that because we think the same things. We have the same shitty inhuman opinions that he has about women who have been sexually assaulted, right? So it's good to them. They think, oh, he's, that's our guy. That's, he's just doing what we sent him there to do. But I don't want to talk just about that. I want to talk in this video. I want to talk about that tweet, and I want to talk about the, the larger issue that it touches on, and that is this fiction that a lot of people, particularly men, but not exclusively men by any means, but, but particularly men, this fiction that, that we hold on to that, well... Rape is actually probably an overreported crime. I know all of the law enforcement agencies and all of the statistics suggest that it is a seriously underreported crime. But you know what? I think it's probably more like it's overreported because a lot of these incidents that women talk about where they, they say they were raped, it's more like they woke up the next morning and looked over at the guy in bed and they decided that it was a mistake. So they changed their mind and they say, oh yeah, that was rape. I didn't want that. Or they don't know how to take a compliment or uh, they 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 react badly to unwanted attention or unwanted flirting and they say, oh, it's sexual harassment. It's mostly just women being oversensitive or, or taking things the wrong way or trying to erase a bad decision by blaming the guy and trying to put it all on him. And, you know, there, and therefore rape isn't that big of a deal. It's not that pervasive of a problem. It doesn't happen that often. And a lot of these guys... Again, not exclusively guys, but but in, in in many instances, in most instances, I would say it's guys. Uh, uh, they say, well, but I don't know anybody who's been raped. You know, if this happens so often, how comes they're not telling anybody? Why? If, if uh, Trump says it himself, well, why didn't she report it to the authorities? That's one of the first things when when Doctor Ford came out with this allegation when she was still anonymous before her name was even known. People were saying, well, it was 30 some years ago. Why didn't she report it at the time? Why didn't she tell anybody? Why, 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 why? And the reason that that illusion exists is because women, generally speaking, as a rule, don't feel comfortable sharing their sexual assault or harassment experience with men who have those kinds of shitty attitudes, which means that the shitty attitudes themselves are indirectly responsible for this illusion that then reinforces the shitty attitude itself. Look at what Trump says in this tweet. He says, if the attack on Dr. Ford was as bad as she says, what a mind fuck that is. What, guys, anybody watching this, and I know for these videos on my channel, 
especially when I talk about politics and social justice type of stuff, I know that I'm preaching to the choir and most of you who watch the video will already agree with me or at least be sympathetic to the point of view that I'm expressing. But if anybody happens to watch this or if any of you know anybody who has attitudes like this about sexual assault survivors and they say things like, well, if it, well, if it was so bad, then why didn't they tell anybody? And we focus on the why didn't they tell anybody, but the if it was so bad is a really shitty thing to say too. And it's such a mind fuck to say about sexual assault or sexual harassment that, well, if it was bad enough, then they would have reported it. What that does to a survivor of sexual assault or, or to someone who has been sexually harassed is it forces them to constantly question and reconsider what happened to them and if they're remembering it correctly. And if they did report it, well, gee, maybe I shouldn't have reported that. Maybe it wasn't so bad. Or if they didn't report it, uh, man, maybe I was right not to tell anybody. Maybe it wasn't that bad. Or maybe I should have. They, they're already in an uncertain doubt-filled, self-critical situation because of what happened and because of our just general shitty attitude towards sexual assault and sexual harassment and people who have experienced it. But putting that on them, saying, well, maybe they didn't tell anybody because it wasn't as bad, is such a fucked up, awful thing to say. And if you say things like that, if you're, again, especially if you're a guy, take it from me. I know women have been saying this for decades, but if, if you don't listen to women or you don't take what they say seriously, listen to me, all right? I'm a guy, I'm a doofus with a YouTube channel who's wearing a Batman shirt, a stretched out, worn out Batman shirt in a video about the president tweeting about sexual assault. So just take me seriously if you won't take women who have actually been sexually assaulted seriously. That is such a fucked up thing to say. And even if you're not saying it about any particular person, or even if you're saying it about a person who is in the news and not someone in your life, what that says to people who are in your life, who have been sexually harassed or sexually assaulted and haven't told you about it, is that they were right to not tell you about it. Because you can't be trusted because of your shitty attitude and your ignorance and your defaulting to sympathize with the assaulter with the harasser, which is exactly what that is. When you respond to someone saying, so-and-so raped me or tried to rape me or sexually assaulted me or made me feel uncomfortable and unsafe and, and you respond with, well, if it was so bad, why didn't you tell anybody? You're putting it on them and saying, you need to decide, you need to go back over it again and you need to parse it even finer than you probably already have been and decide whether or not it was really bad enough. Because it's on you, see? You, 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 you don't have the option to just report something that happened to you. First, you have to decide, oh, gee, I don't know, is it, was it bad enough to report? Uh, should I even bother telling anybody? There is somebody in your life, probably quite a few somebodies, unfortunately, who has experienced some form of, of sexual assault or sexual harassment. And I think there's probably an even larger number of people who aren't, who in their own minds aren't sure if they have or not, because they constantly question it. Whenever they think of it, they constantly wonder, is what happened to me that? I know that, I remember that happening. I remember him doing something or saying something. I remember feeling uncomfortable. I remember feeling unsafe. I remember not wanting to do this. I remember feeling coerced or feeling pressured, but I didn't actually say no or say I didn't want to do it. Or I thought about leaving, but I didn't leave. And what does that mean? Does that mean that what happened to me was wrong? Or does that mean it was okay? Was it my fault? There is so much second guessing that goes on in the mind of someone who has experienced something like that, that maybe occurred in some kind of a gray area where it wasn't absolutely, positively, inarguably rape, assault, etc. And they constantly turn it over in their heads and wonder, well, what, but what was it my fault? Should I have done something differently? We put that on people. We say, well, what did you do? Well, why did you do that? Why didn't you do this? If that's what you think now, why didn't you think it then? Why didn't you say anything at the time? If it was so bad, why didn't you do something? Why didn't you fight them off? Why didn't you try to stop them? Why didn't you run right to the police? Why didn't you tell your parents? Why didn't you tell your friends? Why didn't you tell your husband? Why didn't you tell your boyfriend? Why didn't you tell your brother or your sister? Blah, 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 blah. Why didn't you do this? 
That's exactly why people who have been sexually assaulted or sexually harassed don't tell people. And you live with this bullshit illusion that nothing is really wrong, that it's the problem. The people who come forward and say they've been assaulted, that they're really the cause of it. They're the troublemakers. They're the troublemakers. Not the people who did these things to them. Not the people who assaulted them or harassed them or made them feel unsafe. No, those people didn't do anything wrong. They don't need to be held accountable. They don't need to be compelled to change. They don't need to seek forgiveness. They don't need to pay any kind of debt to anybody. It's the people who reported it. They're the, they're the troublemakers. And the truth is that a lot of us, you know, we, we, we like the fact that they're silent about it because then we don't have to deal with it. That's, that's part of what helps to perpetuate this fucking toxic, corrosive rape culture that allows people like Donald Trump to ascend to the presidency, people like Brett Kavanaugh to be nominated for the highest court in the country, have something like this come out about them, and it is not immediately disqualifying. There are people lining up to defend this asshole, lining up to say, well, yeah, but he never sexually assaulted me. In fact, I have a whole list of people he never sexually assaulted or attempted to sexually assault, so therefore, he must, be, he must not be that bad of a guy. He didn't try to rape everybody. And I, I used to work with him. He seemed like a nice guy to me. He got my kitten down out of a tree once, so he couldn't possibly have ever tried to rape somebody. And how can such a culture exist in a society where rape is as common as it is in this society? Where sexual assault and harassment are as common as in this society? It starts with shit like that. It starts with shit like, well, if it was as bad as she says, then they would have called the cops right away. The fact that it wasn't reported means that it probably didn't happen. And that's her fault. Poor Brett Kavanaugh, leave him alone. Why, don't you realize that this could destroy this poor man's chance to be on the Supreme Court of the United States? And don't we owe him that? What about poor Brett Kavanaugh? Should he really be denied a spot on the Supreme Court of the United States just because he may or may not have tried to rape someone 35 years ago? Let's think about what we're doing to him. Never mind her. Oh, she's been chased from her home. Her identity has been revealed to the world. She's been receiving death threats. She has the president of the fucking United States tweeting that he doesn't believe her. The guy who bragged about sexually assaulting women and then tried to pass it off as, oh, it's just locker room talk, everybody talks like that. And the shitty thing about that is his, his supporters believe that too. His supporters have the same shitty attitudes toward women and toward sexual assault survivors as, as Trump does. They don't care. They feel entitled. They feel like it's not that much of a problem. They feel like, and if they say something kind of coarse or disrespectful or insulting about a sexual assault survivor, ah, yes, come on, it's just locker room talk. I'm just having to say, come on, lighten up. Hey, everybody talks. Everybody does it. Everybody talks that way. You know, if that's rape, then I guess I'm a rapist. And it never dawns on them what they're actually saying. They just assume that they're commenting on the absurdity of the whole thing instead of confessing, which is what they're actually doing most of the time. They're confessing. They're saying, okay, yeah, well, I've done that too, so I guess that makes me a rapist. Yeah. Yeah. And even if you're not, even if you've never done something like that, if you've ever said something out loud within earshot of someone who has experienced a sexual assault or been sexually harassed, if you've ever said, well, if it was so bad, why didn't she say anything at the time? If you've ever put that into the air, if you've ever expressed that kind of skepticism about something that is not an extraordinary claim. I got a comment the other day in one of my videos where they said, hey, but extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence. If you were really a skeptic and you were really informed on the issue, as a true skeptic, I, I think should aspire to be, you would know that someone saying I was raped is not an extraordinary claim because it happens all the time. And it doesn't matter what the credentials of the rapist are. It doesn't matter how good their reputation is. It doesn't matter how many people you can get to sign a letter saying, well, he never tried to rape me. It doesn't matter. It happens all the time. And if your response is, well, what's your fault? 
What is your role in this? What did you do to deserve this? What could you have done differently? Why didn't you say anything at the time? If it was bad enough. If that's the kind of thing that you say, then it's your fault in part. You are part of the reason why this problem exists and why to so many people, despite the fact that women have been talking about it openly for a very long time, there are still so many people who react to it as though they're just hearing about it for the first time. Like this is like, it's invisible. Like, oh gee, a lot of people are talking about being raped all of a sudden. No, they've been talking about it all along to certain people, to people they felt they could trust, to people they felt they could trust to support them and help them. And if necessary, or if they decide to do that, to do something about it. And that's not you. If you're saying things like that, or you think that thoughts that have been expressed by Donald Trump and others in this vein are remotely acceptable. If that's you, if that's how you respond when someone accuses someone of sexual assault, you bring out the credentials of the accused, or you say like, well, it must not have been so bad or else she would have said something about it at the time, or why, weren't, why, why didn't they press charges? Yada, 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 yada. If that's you, then congratulations. Why don't you know more women who have been sexually assaulted? Because they haven't told you. Why haven't they told you? Because of that.